Hello everyone, my name is Jacobin and welcome back to another Redstone video. In this video, I will be showing you guys actually something quite simple that I came up with um, just today. Uh, and I, I, I surprised I didn't think about this earlier, but you know you have those like little clock things in Minecraft that like show what time of day it is? Um, uh, I guess it is pretty accurate if you face like this way. Um, but I decided like, well, this thing is super accurate in that it like, it gets like all the way around. And so, like, if the sun's directly up, it'll face directly up. If it's, like, at 45, it'll go 45. And even right between us. Right now, it's not quite 45. It's not quite straight up. But at, as you can see, it just there, it moved. But I decided, uh, what, because I, I never actually make these things in Minecraft. And a lot of the times, I'm, like, inside or working on something inside, and I, can, and I don't know if it's daytime or not. And so I thought, like, why not just have, like, a giant clock that tells you whether or not it's day. And so right now this thing is detecting daylight, so it, it turns the whole thing on and it gives you the image of the sun, or something like the sun. But then, if it's not detecting daylight, it gives you the moon, <laughs> which I thought was really fun. Um, but technically this thing would stay on this t on, on, on day, but I'm pretty sure on a flat world I can't actually change the time, because if I do time set night... The sun just goes up there and then starts rising again. So it doesn't, I don't know what's up with flat worlds, but it doesn't work. So, but as you can see, if it's, if it's not detecting daylight, then it turns to the moon, which that means it's nighttime because, you know, there's no daylight. And then if you, if you, it is detecting daylight, then it shows you the sun. And, and like, uh, this thing is actually quite simple. It, all it's doing is if you take these things and a lamp and you put them here and here, you can see that it actually keeps the lamp on, even though technically, let's see if I can show this, it's giving off multiple redstone pulses, just like this, but it is keeping the lamp turned on. And so what I did is I just, when it's, when it's detecting daylight, then it, all of these pistons push these observers forward and then creates uh, those sh quick short pulses into the lamps. And then that leaves them on, and then when it's not detecting daylight, they retract back, and then you can't, uh, and then the observers um, don't uh, create multiple redstone pulses. And so I just thought that was a really fun idea. But yeah, anyways, if you like this video, then please leave a like down below, and if you really enjoyed it, then consider subscribing, because that would help out a lot. Yeah, I'll see you next time.